I haven't been reviewing smart vacuum cleaners for a while, and maybe the last interesting one was the Rob Rock S50, which is still a bestseller. Today I'm going to show you a cute, functional, very compact smart robotic vacuum for wet and dry cleaning, designed in Europe, with huge 7000 mAh battery, a camera, a speaker, and many other goodies. Her name is Maya. Hi there, it's Michael speaking. Welcome to the tech for all channel, the place where we review cool tech. This one is coming from a small Bulgarian company called M Climate with big worldwide ambition and great quality of engineering. And here's something fun. This is the smartphone app and yes, now you can see me. Hello from the other side. But you're not going to hear me singing it. No way! Maya is one of the smallest robotic vacuums I've tested, yet with one of the largest batteries and dust containers I've seen. Let me quickly guide you over the important hardware features and then we'll see it performing. I have to say that the packaging is lovely and up to par with vacuum robots of higher price range and by the way the price is about 350 euro or dollars. On the box we can find the most attractive features, arrives with spare brushes, spare mop, remote, charger, docking station and the usual papers. Here's a dustbin, 0.5 liters with normal filter plus HEPA filter plus active carbon and this means that Maya is filtering down to 0.003 micron sized dust. There's a large mop, and if you want to do mostly dry cleaning, the mop can be removed. At the bottom, power button and two side brushes, there is no main brush, which for some people might be a miss, for other just fine. Main brushes are usually good for carpets, but could be rather an issue when a lot of hair has to be cleaned. Quality of materials feels good, design is nice and in fact one of the main benefits is the height of only 6 cm which lets Maya reach under most furniture. I liked a lot the main display, there's a well visible battery status indicator as well as status information about the current selection of mode, pity that the battery info is not visible in the smartphone app. The working time is quite remarkable, I'm gonna stop the music for this one, up to 4 hours and can clean an area of up to 260 square meters, kind of twice more than what most current competitors offer, a lot of smart sensors, including bionic sound waves to avoid collisions, and the suction power is rated at 1000 Pascal. Let's see it in action, and I'm gonna show you the cleaning first, and then a few other possible smart home implementations. Besides the unmatched battery life, it does the cleaning job quite well, it belongs to the robots that don't create a map of the room it cleans, but thanks to the sound waves it can make an estimation of the cleaned area and the distance to various objects. And while there is no map, the algorithm is smart enough to not let Maya into random movements and routes, quite the opposite, it will act very similar to vacuum cleaners that do create such a map for the rooms that are cleaned. It has of course option to be programmed, there's the auto mode, a wall F cleaning mode where it is more focused on edges of walls and furniture and the spot cleaning which puts the motor in turbo mode and increases the section strength temporarily. Bacteria, mold seeds, dust mites, they are all in danger if Maya is around thanks to the innovative container which is also very easy to take out and can be washed. Carpets are also being cleaned if they are not too high. Yeah, obstacles above 1.5 cm might be quite a challenge. You can program the cleaning length or leave Maya to be cleaning for as long as there is battery. But because this can take hours, the programming function is nice. Also, a feature that I haven't seen on many devices, there's a dedicated button which will initiate cleaning for fixed 20 minutes and then Maya goes automatically back to its charging station. You may follow each of these activities from the smartphone app, it can connect to your Wi-Fi and then is accessible even if you're not at home. A quick test with the rice shows that the efficiency is good and even larger objects like seeds and beans won't be an issue. The water tank is relatively large, 280 milliliters, good for up to 200 square meters. Of course, the feature that I liked the most 
is the camera, which can be used as home surveillance. You even have the option to move around in the room by swiping up and down or left and right. Also, the camera offers different resolutions and despite my skepticism, it was streaming 720p resolution without any problems. There even is the option to record on SD card and review the captured video from the app. Of course, you can count on possibility for navigation, switching between modes and initiating the return to the dock. And I loved this option. Just swipe left. And my goes left. The other feature that is quite interesting is the speaker option. Yes, if you have some pets at home and you miss them throughout the day, you can talk to them. Well, the smartphone app is a serious bonus. As usual, improvement suggestions at the end. It would be nice to have Alexa or Google Home integration. Voice commands would also feel nice. And maybe a model with a main brush. Oh, and in the app I miss Wi-Fi information and battery level information. I didn't say quite much about the remote, but well, in a world where smartphone apps control almost everything, I hope you can forgive me. That was the major part about Maya, and you can check some more details about it in the description below the video. If there's enough interest from your side, we may take a look at some of the other smart home gadgets that M Climate have developed, like air conditioner controller, the water heater controller, and a few others, but time will show. Let me know what you think of Maya first, and do you use a robotic vacuum cleaner at home at all? And we can get in touch using the comment section just below the video. I'm Michael, Tech for Channel here, and I'll see you in the next episode.